Hi, Mattahunt family, it's Miss Daly. Hope you're doing okay. On March 20th, it is Very Hungry Caterpillar Day. So I wanted to read you guys The Very Hungry Caterpillar. This is a book about how a caterpillar goes through metamorphosis, which is a big word. He changes throughout his life. So we're gonna see what happens to this caterpillar as he changes and grows. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There's a little egg right on the leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. There he is, came right through the apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. Look at that, one, two. But he was still hungry. The next day is what? Wednesday. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But he was still hungry. Hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. Mmm, strawberries are my favorite. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But what do you think? He was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one watermelon slice. Hmm, how do you think he was feeling now? Let's see. That night, he had a stomach ache. Look at his face. He doesn't look so happy. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon or chrysalis around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon pushed his way out and was a beautiful butterfly. I hope you enjoyed that reading of The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And I got some ideas of things that you could do at home if you want to do some arts that go with it. Friends could cut out circles just like this. Color one, 
red with green eyes, and then color out more green. You can tape them or glue them to a piece of paper and make your very own hungry little caterpillar just like me. Just need to add some feet and some antenna. And it looks just like the cover. For our older friends, you could use this book to inspire you to make a butterfly life cycle. You can cut out your circles again and then start with the egg, the caterpillar, the chrysalis, and then the butterfly. Hope to see some beautiful projects. Have a great day. Bye.